everybody. So today, we're going to talk about vitamin B12. A uh, common question lots of people who are on a vegetarian or vegan diet ask is how are they going to get enough vitamin B12 if you can get it from plants, if you need to take a supplement, or if the lack of vitamin B12 in a vegetarian or vegan diet is a good reason not to adopt it in the first place. So, just to begin, what vitamin B12 is, is a substance that's made by bacteria. It's not made by plants, animals, or humans. It's only made by bacteria that live in the soil. Animals store vitamin B12 in their tissue, and that's why we get vitamin B12 from plant sources like meats and, and beef and liver and chicken. And plants don't store vitamin B12 in their cells, which is why plant sources never, ever, ever provide us a natural source of vitamin B12. Sometimes, if the plant grows in a very vitamin B12 rich environment because of the soil, you'll get a little bit. And some other algaes and plants like spirulina, chlorella, or some seaweed, they make metabolites of vitamin B12 that are kind of the same thing, but not as bioavailable and they're not as readily absorbed by your body as the sort of B12 that's available in animals. So the truth is, is if you're, adopt if you're adopting an entirely vegan or vegetarian diet, you're probably not going to get as much vitamin B12 as if you're going to eat a regular omnivorous diet. For that reason, it's probably a good idea to take a vitamin B12 supplement if you are on a, a vegan or vegetarian diet. Now, if you're watching this, you might be scared thinking that uh, you know, such a, a fact like that might be a, a bad reason you know, not to take on vitamin B12 or not to take on a vegetarian diet. However, I don't think that's, that's all that true. Uh, what you have to understand is that vitamin B12 is used very efficiently by your body. So you don't need to get very much of it uh, in your day-to-day -day life in order to go on. You actually have about a three to five year supply stored in your liver already. So even if you don't get a single microgram of vitamin B12 for the next five years, you'll still probably be okay, and you still probably won't show any signs of vitamin B12 deficiency. Also, most foods, especially vegetarian and vegan foods, are already fortified with vitamin B12. It's not as readily absorbed as the sorts you might get in animal foods, however it is, uh, it is enough you know, to prevent deficiency and to prevent, uh, you know, the major signs of vitamin B12 deficiency, like, um, you know, a, a, a spotted tongue or, you know, low energy levels, depression, mood swings, things like that. And your body only needs about three micrograms a day uh, of vitamin B12 in order to function properly, and that is not very much at all. I mean, it's practically nothing. So if you take a vitamin B12 supplement, you'll be more than okay. And some people might think, well, you know, I don't get enough vitamin B12, and so therefore a vegetarian diet isn't good. However, you want to distinguish between diseases that come from not having enough of things, like deficiency in B12, vitamin C, iron, uh, and then also diseases that come from excess, like heart disease, uh, diabetes, hypertension, and things of that sort. So to get an idea of what I'm saying, ask yourself, how many people do you know that are suffering from scurvy or rickets or vitamin B12 deficiency? Probably none at all. Maybe one or two people, if that. I mean, statistically, the chances of you getting one of those symptoms is something like one in 5,000 or one in 10,000. If you live in America or if you live in Canada or if you live in a Western country, the chances of getting those things are just really, really small. Now ask yourself, what are the chances of you getting heart disease, of you getting high blood pressure, of uh, getting cancer, getting diabetes, getting hypertension? Or how many people do you know that have those similar ailments? Chances are there's a lot of people. You know, probably half the people you know of in one way or another are, are taking medication for those diseases. And those diseases that come from having too much of things, of having overnutrition. Uh, and you know, if, if you live in America and you're watching this and you live in developed nation, chances are those are the much more serious problems. I mean, so personally, if I have a diet, you know, that uh, reduces uh, my risk of overnutrition and diseases of excess and gives me a little more risk exposure of uh, something like vitamin B12 deficiency, which I still have a very, very small chance of getting and can easily get enough of through uh, supplementation and then fortification, I think it's a good bet to make. So not everyone would feel that way, but I think it's an important point to consider. Thanks for watching.